This video will explain how to properly install and configure Snapshot Shaders Pro for Unity. To start off with, go to the Asset Store and download the package. When it's finished downloading, you should have three Unity package files corresponding to each render pipeline that this pack supports. For the built-in renderer, Snapshot Shaders Pro relies on the post-processing stack, so go to the Package Manager, type in post-processing and install the stack. Once it's finished installing, we can install Snapshot Shaders Pro Post-Processing V2. There's no more setup required, just make sure that you install everything that's contained in Snapshot Shaders Pro. Once it's finished installing, you should be able to go into the demo scene, go into play mode, and fly around and test out the shaders. To install Snapshot Shaders Pro on Universal Render Pipeline, we'll yet again have to go to the Package Manager, search for Universal RP and install that. Once it's finished installing, we can double click the Snapshot URP package and install everything in the package. Configuring URP can be a bit more involved. The first step is to go to Project Settings, Graphics and look at the Scriptable Render Pipeline Settings tab. Go to Snapshot RP in the Project window and drag that onto this tab. You may also have to go to the Project Settings Quality tab and override the Rendering section. Once you've done this, you can go to the Snapshot Renderer and add any of the effects that you'd like to use on the Renderer Features section. Unfortunately, the URP version of this asset does not support volumes yet, so all changes here are global. This also means that the URP version of Snapshot Shaders Pro does not contain a demo scene. You also won't be able to see any changes in the scene view, they will only appear in the game view. Finally, we'll look at High Definition Render Pipeline. The process to install HDRP from the Package Manager is exactly the same as installing URP, so I'll skip over that. When you install HDRP into a built-in renderer project, much of the settings are incorrect. We need to make sure to select the Populate Reset button, and then click the Fix button on all of the issues in the project. When you've done this, HDRP will be installed properly. To enable effects on HDRP, there's an extra step. Go to Project Settings, HDRP Default Settings and scroll down to the bottom. There'll be a list of custom post-process orders. Go to the After Post-Process section, click the plus arrow and add the effects you'd wish to use. The only exception to this is Before Post-Process. The only effect that uses this is the Light Streaks effect. All of the other effects can be found under After Post-Process. Once you've added the effects you'd like to use to the custom post processors orders list, you can go to the demo scene and test out the effects yourself. Keep in mind that only effects you added to the list will be active in the scene view, regardless of whether or not you added them to a volume. Hopefully with this video, you were able to set up Snapshot Shaders Pro properly. If you have issues with the asset, please leave a comment. Thank you.